So hello everyone. As we approach this long weekend, I hope that all of us, all of you who work for Alberta Health Services, I hope you'll get a little bit of time to spend with your families, a little bit of time to take a breather. We should enjoy the beautiful weather that we're having across the province. And I think it's a great time to, to take stock of where we're at and perhaps think about how we're going to behave, how we're going to act as we move forward, as we move into August, then September with the opening of the school system. I think there are a lot of things on our mind. I think we should be clear, and we've heard from our Chief Medical Officer of Health, that the curve is no longer flat. We are seeing an upsurge in COVID-19 across the province. We're seeing it in pockets here and there, but it's distributed across the province. We are seeing more COVID-19 and we need to prepare for this. I should say that we did expect to see more cases of COVID-19 as the province began to reopen, as businesses relaunched and I think this will continue. But as the curve is starting to climb, we really need to take stock again, reflect on what we can do in our personal lives and in our professional lives to try to reduce the spread of COVID-19. There's nothing new, there's nothing magical. It's really about focusing on the things that we know work. Most importantly, it's about maintaining that physical distance, that two meters, that six feet, that hockey stick distance. Try to stay away from people that are not part of your immediate close family or your close cohort. That is the single most important thing that we can do. Of course, cleaning hands, absolutely critical. Avoid touching your face with unclean hands. Clean hands regularly. Soap and water works. Alcohol hand sanitizer works very well as well. Remember, stay home if you're sick. This is not a time to be a hero. It's not a time to come to work with the sniffles, with a little bit of a sore throat. This is a time to stay home if you're ill. And finally, this is a time that we need to think about masking. There's a continuous masking directive in Alberta Health Services. This is not just an expectation, but this is a requirement. For direct patient care, we need to mask. I think one way to think about that is that if you can be seen by a family, by a patient, by a visitor in one of our healthcare facilities, you need to be masked. When you're directly in front of patients, absolutely, you need to be masked. I think in our personal lives, we also need to consider when should we mask. If we're in crowded spaces, if we're in indoor spaces, if we're taking public transit, those are times that we should mask. Of course, some of the municipalities are now passing their own bylaws that will direct us to do exactly that. In public spaces, they are expecting us to mask, particularly indoors and on transit. I would like you to think about who are you protecting if you put on a mask? Think to yourself, who am I protecting? And I think there are probably several answers. Critically, in healthcare, we need to protect patients. We need to protect the most vulnerable in our society from catching COVID-19 from us if we have mild symptoms or if we don't even know that we're sick. Of course, we want to protect our colleagues. So when you're at work and you're in crowded charting back rooms on hospital units, or you're in corporate areas with lots of your coworkers around, we need to mask 
if we're within six feet of other individuals. Finally, of course, you're gonna protect yourself because we know that masks do provide protection. Obviously, if you're dealing with a symptomatic patient, you need to protect your eyes as well at the same time. So your eyes, your nose, your mouth are protected. But the mask protects you, it protects patients, it protects your coworkers. So as you put on your mask, think about this. Who are you protecting? Together, we do amazing things every day.